Hello everyone, I'm back with a new tutorial series. And in this tutorial series, we'll talk about the Jenkins. So in this video, we'll see what exactly we are going to learn in this tutorial series. So this is just an introduction to discuss about the topics that we are going to discuss in our tutorial series. So basically in, in Jenkins, we are going to first see the introduction and the architecture of the Jenkins. So basically in introduction, we'll see that why we need to use Jenkins, where to use Jenkins, complete description about it. After that, we'll do the installation of Jenkins. Once the installation is done, then in my third video, I'll create a job. Like I'll show you how we can create a job in Jenkins. After that, we will set up a job just by installing Git and we'll put code, pull code from the GitHub and execute in our job. Once you are familiar with the job, then you need to understand the configurations or basically you need to understand how you can manage your own Jenkins system. So basically in that case, you will need to configure your system. There are different ways to configure your system, tools and credentials. So that you will learn in the first fifth video. After that, we will learn about the Jenkins DSL, that is domain specific language. So there you will execute different codes. We'll run different codes using domain specific language. After that, we will go for the Jenkins pipelines. But the best thing about the Jenkins is that it allows you to execute multiple jobs in a sequence. So you can execute multiple jobs at the same time. There you will learn about the Jenkins CLI. After that, you'll learn about the Jenkins CLI that is command language interference. So in this, in CLI, you will be executing the Jenkins code through the command prompt. Once all the configuration and executions of the jobs are done, at the end, you will see how you can provide job security to your jobs as well as to your Jenkins system. So all these videos will help you to understand completely about the Jenkins and you'll get familiar with the Jenkins software. In fact, you'll get familiar with the Jenkins working process. And once you are familiar with the complete Jenkins process, then at the end of the project, at the end of the video, we'll discuss some projects. So in this project, we will try to implement different tools in Jenkins, and as well as we will run a Selenium Frameworks project. Basically there, we will run the Selenium Frameworks code, and in that code will be designed in the Maven structure, and we'll uh, we will implement different test cases, as well as we will add some tools in our project. So this will give you a complete overview of how Jenkins, how we are working in Jenkins in our, uh, in our offices, how we work on the Jenkins software, We'll get complete overview of it. So first, let's begin with the introduction of Jenkins. Let's see what exactly Jenkins is. So Jenkins is a server-based application used for integrating process for development. It helps to automate the different phase of software development like building, testing, and deploying. Now this facilitating the continuous integration and continuous delivery. Basically, Jenkins is a server-based application where we perform all the processes from building to uh, testing of the projects, as well as after testing, we can deploy the projects. Now this continuous integration and continuous delivery process is uh, of the process that executes in Jenkins. That means if you do some changes, you can do the changes in continuous basis, as well as once the changes are integrated, then you can deploy it after the complete project is integrated. Now Jenkins is an open source tool written in Java with related plugins to build continuous integration process. Now Jenkins allows you to continuously deliver your software by integrating testing and deployment process in the project. So first the development is done. Once the development is done, then the testing is done. And once the testing is performed and if the testing is done without any failures, then we can deploy the project. That's what Jenkins uh, server completely provides you the environment. Now, why Jenkins is used in testing? Jenkins is used in testing because it provides numerous plugins for integration with multiple test automation tools and frameworks into test pipeline. When it comes to test automation, Jenkins provides plugins that help run test suits, gather dashboard results, and provide details of failure. Now, once the development is done, then this, uh, this Jenkins will help you to just to get uh, do the testing and help you to provide the test reports along with the failures or the past reports. So that's what the use of Jenkins is in testing. Now let's come to the features of Jenkins. So Jenkins provide developer with several benefits, including faster software delivery release, as well as Jenkins installation and configuration is very simple. 
Jenkins can easily assign work across multiple of machines for faster build, test, and deployment across multiple platforms. Now, the best thing about the Jenkins is this can be implemented on different platforms, multiple platforms, you can see. Now, if in case the build fails in Jenkins, then Jenkins will notify the error to the developer team. If, like, when your complete team is working and if the test is performed and if some error is uh, achieved, then in that case, the developer team will get to know the errors, uh, like, basically, the errors in the project straight away. Now, Jenkins is effortlessly effortlessly to integrate with number of popular cloud platforms such as Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, Amazon EC2, and more. So basically different cloud platforms can be also integrated in Jenkins. Now the cloud is also available. The cloud facilities can be easily integrated in Jenkins. That's also the best thing about the Jenkins is. Now let's understand the complete workflow of Jenkins, how Jenkins work and what exactly, how the developer team, how the tester team works, how all the team members are connected at one place in Jenkins. So let's understand the complete concept. Initially, a developer commits the code to the source code. Now the Jenkins server keeps a regular check at the repository. As soon as the commit occurs, the Jenkins server discovers the changes and pull them. Now this is the part that developer does is write the code, commit the code to the source code and the Jenkins servers keep a regular check on the repositories that if there is any changes, then just commit those changes and check whether the build is proper or not. If in between the test, the build does not pass, the developer is instantly notified to take suitable action. Now, when the code is built and during that process, if developer gets to know that something is wrong, then that's notified to them and they can perform the complete action again. Now, Jenkins get ready for deployment to of the build to the environment that allows an user acceptable testing before release into production pipeline. Now, here the work of testing is done. Once the project is built, then the testing team basically perform UAT tests that automates with the help of tools known as Selenium to achieve continuous delivery. Now the code is append to the master branch to create a golden build if the test is passed. It is then directly deployed in the product production pipeline. After testing, Jenkins notifies the developer regarding the test results and build. Now see, at the same place, the developer is building his project. After that, the testing team comes there, perform the test, and based on the test reports, it's notified the developer team and what are the test results? And if the test results are like passed without any failures, then it's ready to build. Now, if in case there is any issues or if there is any failure, then the complete process will keep on repeating. So like we can really repeat the whole process till we get the exact build process. And once the build process is achieved, then we can deploy it. That's what, how Jenkins works. So developer works at the same platform. At the same time, the testing team is working at the same platform, performing its results, and at the end, you will have like all the processes when performed, you can easily deploy it from the same place. That's the best thing about Jenkins. Like everyone works at the same place, same platform and at the same environment. So the architecture of Jenkins, you see this very simple architecture. Like we have Jenkins master server and this server is connected to different slaves or we call it as nodes. So uh, the nodes perform uh, according based on their builds. Now Jenkins master server, first let's understand what it is. Jenkins master server is like a control server that coordinates all the workflow defined in pipeline. Now the server is in charge of scheduling the job, monitoring the job and also access the master environment and can push the job tasks to multiple other Jenkins slave environment to distribute the workload. Now, once the work is done, or like it's scheduled, the job is scheduled, again, it's monitored and the access of the complete access is shared to the board node servers and the access can be shared based on the requirements or based on the works assigned to different slaves or different part of the Jenkins, uh, different parts of the build you can see. Now this Jenkins slave, let's understand what is this. A Jenkins slave is a Java executable that runs on multiple machines. Now Jenkins slaves can be run, can, can be run a different build versions of code for different operating systems and the server master controls how each of the build operates. So the, there are different build process and each build process are controlled by these nodes. And based on this build process, uh, the builds, uh, the server's nodes execute. So it's like one server, server just uh, release the builds and based on those builds, the different different nodes execute according based on the, the uh, task, perf uh, task performed to us or task assigned. This is the complete architecture of Jenkins. 
Now let's understand Jenkins uses in SDLC model. This SDLC, that is software development lifecycle, this is followed by each and every uh, employees or basically this is the structure that follows in offices when we are working in project. So the first part of this is for the developer. Developer builds the code. Now the second process is once developer write the code, then it builds the code. Once the code is built, then the tester team test, perform different types of testing. And based on this testing, just release the reports. If the reports are passed without any errors, then the project is released and it's built in packages in form of zip form. So the it's built uh, like packages, it's form built in form of packages. And once the project is built, it's deployed from there itself. Now these all processes are performed in the Jenkins if, uh, environment itself. We don't go for another platform. In fact, in the Jenkins itself, they perform the complete process. So once it's deployed, it's available to the customers for uses. Now this is the complete process that we follow while working in Jenkins. So each of the process are followed step by step and executed based on the plans and all the plans are monitored by the team. So this is how the complete process of Jenkins goes and this is how we work when we are working on some particular jobs or you can say projects in Jenkins. So this is complete overview of Jenkins and you'll get, I think you have got the idea of Jenkins, what exactly it is and how it's working. To know more about Jenkins, we'll see in next videos the installation process and we'll discuss about the different topics, configuration of Jenkins. So keep watching my videos and know more about Jenkins. That's all, thank you.